Question number six on the quiz review has to do with solving a vertical motion problem. This is also from lesson 8.5. Remember that the equation that models a vertical motion problem is h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus v sub zero t plus h sub zero. The h of t represents the projectile's vertical height at any time t. The v sub zero is the initial velocity in feet per second. The h sub zero is the initial height from which the projectile was released and t is the time in seconds after the projectile was released. You should have this information written down in your notes from lesson 8.5. If not, you might want to copy that down right now. You're going to need to know this information for the quiz. A rocket is launched from a height of 25 feet with an initial vertical velocity of 80 feet per second. The first part of the question says to write a vertical motion function in the form h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus v sub zero t plus h sub zero to model the situation. Remember that v sub zero is the initial velocity and it tells us right here that the initial vertical velocity is 80 feet per second. So we know the v sub zero has to be 80. The h sub zero is the initial height. That's the height where the projectile is launched from. So here it's a rocket that's launched from a height of 25 feet. That's the initial height, that's h sub zero. Well, now to write the equation, we just have to replace the v sub zero with 80 and the h sub zero with 25. You can see the negative 16 is already written there, negative 16 t squared. Let's put v sub zero in front of the t, so we're gonna pick 80 from the drop down, and then plus 25 on the end. And that's the first step is just, you know, writing your equation. Now that we have our equation written, we want to find the time it takes the rocket to reach its maximum height. Now remember, this is a quadratic equation. It has that t squared, and it's a negative, so we know that it's going to look like this. It's going to be a parabola that opens down. Well, the maximum height is just the vertex of the parabola. So this point right here is the max height, and the max height occurs at the vertex. To find the x-coordinate of the vertex, or in this case, the t-coordinate, the time, we use the equation t equals negative b divided by 2a. That's a formula that you should have written down in your 8.5 notes. If you don't have that written down in your 8.5 notes, make sure to add that. That's the starting point for every question. Well, now we just take the numbers from the equation that we wrote up here, and we sub in the b and the a. Remember, a is the number in front of the squared term, b is the number in front of the t term, c is the constant. Here we have the opposite of b. If b is 80, the opposite of b is negative 80, and then it's divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times negative 16. That makes negative 80 divided by negative 32. And now put that in your calculator. We want an exact answer here. So negative 80 divided by negative 32 is exactly 2.5. That means the max height occurs after two and a half seconds, or two and a half seconds after the rocket was launched. Now that we know the time, we just figured out time was 2.5. Now we can find that maximum height by evaluating the function at two and a half. To do that, you're gonna go back here. H of t, we need to find h of 2.5 and then replace all the t's with two and a half. Negative 16, 2.5 squared, plus 80 times 2.5, plus 25. And now you can type that whole thing into your calculator. And just make sure that you type that in very carefully, that you put parentheses around any place where you're subbing in 2.5, that you square that first set since it's t squared, and that it looks exactly like that before you hit the enter button. And then once you hit enter, you are going to get 125. So that's the height in feet. And just pick that from the drop down menu. Your final answer is 125 feet.